We used to be life activities. There's life without barriers. Big charity, great charity. Lifeline, life solutions, lifestyle solutions. Um, there's another one called Life Now or something. We looked that one up. I was a hairdresser. We're lost in the sea of life. Um, now we're Leapfrog, and uh, we're hoping that you remember us and support us in the future. Why Leapfrog? Because it jumps ahead. It sees a, an obstacle, it jumps over it. It has a great base, and when there's a, a challenge, it will rise to it. And it's exactly the way a charity should support people who are in need. Fair Go for Kids is the project that we are supporting tonight, which is a, an initiative of Leapfrog Ability. We come across children that are on waiting lists. A child, for instance, one of the first kids we worked with uh, in this project needed uh, some surgery for her ears. She was going to have to wait a year and a half. Her head was so out of balance that her ear was on her shoulder. She had multiple, multiple disabilities and the waiting list, as I said, was a year and a half. During that time, that child's neck would grow sideways. Her neck musculature would atrophy, it would die away. She would need physio once she had the surgery. This is all because she had to wait. We got the surgery done for $1,250 by paying the gap and putting her into a private hospital. It took two weeks. That child is a different child. The moment she woke up, her parents, who will be interviewing soon, will be up on our YouTube site, her parents said she was a different little girl and it cost $1,250. The money that we raise here, well, it's you guys that are supporting this because this is a totally fundraise, uh, raising supported uh, arm of our work. The money that you raise here, I'm hoping to be able to write to you very, very soon in a few weeks to say we've spent it all, there's none left. We need to do this again. There are so many people who need support, simple things like getting them early support that we can save them and their families um, Almost, if you haven't seen it, an unbelievable amount of stress and hardship. That little girl that we did, with the um, we supported, we have probably saved the community on a conservative estimate. If she hadn't learned to speak, which she probably wouldn't have because she was stone deaf during that critical time when her brain's growing and she's learning to speak, um, with all her other disabilities, we probably would be looking at an extra bill of between two and ten million dollars minimum over the first fifty years of that child of that child's life as an adult. Multiply that up by a thousand children in Australia, ten thousand children in, in Australia, and that becomes billions of dollars. The project we're working on tonight has no funding anywhere. It's to get kids off waiting lists, whether it's to get physio early, whether it's to get surgery, whether it's to get a new attachment for their wheelchair so that they can stand up and their neck can be straight and they can see their friends rather than be like this. Visit our website, leapfrog.org.au, and please get involved. You know, we're not asking much from you. We're asking you to come along to our events and have a good time. And if that's all you do to support us, you know that the money that you spend here having a good time goes to help with children, help children in the Hunter immediately. We don't want to um, muck around with it. So thanks very, very much. And uh, I think I'll hand over to Christy. Thanks for your time and patience. Thank you.